Ooh, yeah. that moto mixture! Yeah! Hey everyone, before we start reacting to BTS, we wanted to take a moment to talk about their Love Myself campaign. It's a joint effort between UNICEF and BTS for something 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 that I totally forgot. It's a joint effort between UNICEF and BTS to help improve the lives of children and their families worldwide. UNICEF promotes the rights and well-being of every child and works with others to help overcome the obstacles that poverty, violence, disease, and discrimination place in a child's path. We think this is an important cause that deserves a lot of support, so we partnered with LV Bongtan for this video. They're independent promoters of the UNICEF and Violence Campaign. They make quality, clean BTS merchandise with the Love Myself branding to raise money for the cause. To support the cause, you can either directly donate to the UNICEF cause or pick up some of their really amazing merch. If you buy the merch, the proceeds will go directly to the Love Myself Foundation. On top of that, Alvi Bangtan is giving away 10 Map of the Soul Persona albums to people who buy the merch on their website. More info in the description below. Last year, you guys helped React to the K raise $15,000 for the Love Myself campaign, making us LV Bangtan's top influencer. So LV Bangtan wants to thank you guys through us by giving us a special 25% off code when you enter React to the K when purchasing merch on their website. Three days after this video is posted, the discount will go back to 10%, so get your extra discounted merch as soon as you can. Thanks so much for listening, and let's move on to the reaction portion of this video. So now you're reacting to two B-side songs off of BTS's 2019 album called Map of the Soul Persona. So the first B-side song is called Make It Right and talks about how the person you are traveling with is more important than the actual journey or destination. There seems to be a desperation in the lyrics for holding on to something that makes one happy and reassuring them that they made the right choice, that everything can be better as long as they are with them. The song was written and composed by Fred Gibson, Ed Sheeran, Benji Gibson, Joe Hill, RM, Suga, and J-Hope. Yes. Ed Sheeran. Yes. You ready? I hope so. With his experience? Yeah. Together. Oh my god, James. I like this. Whoa. What is that sound? Is it, it's like, it's a MIDI something, right? Yeah, I have no idea. But it's idea. like got like a crackly timbre. Oh man, this is cool live. It seems pretty chill. I'm liking the bass though. You can hear it vibrate through these headphones. Oh yeah, it's like a little conversation between the MIDI and the voice. The jump to falsetto is so fast. Ooh, go to law. <laughs> you got it. You gotta go to law instead of go to doe. Power chords, baby. Power I love chords. That. I Usually love power on the chords. piano, when you hit a chord, it goes away because piano is a percussive instrument. But this is like sustained. Satisfactory. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. Uh, it's like an anthem song. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a quiet anthem. <laughs> love that instrument. It's so captivating. I mean, you got some uh, hemiolas there with the syncopation. It's like, bam, 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 bam. You know, there are some sad parts about it, but it's about like finding and becoming and growing. And it sounds know. motivational. What makes it wow, sound wait. that way? I would not expect that to be his voice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you're, are you new to BTS? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> Yo, I love the rap, man. Stereo they action. They sing and then the instrument plays and then they sing and the instrument plays. So would you consider that antiphonal? Call and response? I really like this. Yeah, Honestly. this is chill. Yeah. I'd kind of like a bit more substance to the sound though. Mm. Um, right more like, now, more like, more like with the vocals. This? That sounds, that's such a motivational beat. I'm just so con confused as to how they're getting that keyboard sound. That sound. I don't know how they're doing that. It's really I don't know, it just feels like a bit too breathless. 
I feel. It's really, really laid back. Yeah. And I think they're trying to kind of keep that laid back. Laid backness. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying not, they need to like change it completely. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm saying yeah. there's not much of like a dynamic difference or like much of a tempo. I mean, there, there's, it's really still yeah. the entire time. It is so hot. <laughs> Like, we should all speak like rappers. They really like the da da bass. Da da. And then with the cadence, they do da 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 da. It's kind of cool because it's like. They're. The vocals are like. Conicizing like the major. Mm -hmm. But the harmonics underneath there are like tonicizing, boom, like the the minor. I liked it. I, I thought it was. was. It felt caffeinated. It, it did felt, feel caffeinated. It felt like it did motivational. Feel it felt like a journey. There were some beats in there that like made it sound like a little bit like cardio. It was everything was going forward, and it was motivational and not depressing. I think for me, it was like the overall vibe, like the atmosphere was really really chill. I do get what you mean by yeah. that. Like you want a little bit more substance, a little more like I don't know, grit every now and then. Um, it's more tone, more sound yeah. in general. But I think I, f I feel like they're going for a different, completely different aesthetic. Vibe, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Interesting. That's nice. Yeah. I would have liked to see more harmonies. Like I think when they're all singing together. Mm -hmm. But like it was nice. Everyone had their like little section that they mm -hmm. did. And I I like that too, especially with like these groups of like. Know, six or seven or eight people when everyone's voice is really different and distinct it's really like it comes out in the song and you can really hear the variety of, of textures and timbres and um, registers and all kinds of stuff so I thought that was really nice they had a nice like spectrum of different things to listen to uh, it wasn't really focused on like ma like massive chord changes or anything but I noticed that the timbre was very well used so like in the very beginning you have like this it's almost like this I was like picturing a jellyfish Mm -hmm. With like the tentacles that like you just like you just see it floating so you have that kind of like light texture in the background And then gradually becomes more and more angular or more articulated once it hits the rap So when, once it hit RM it was the way it was developing from very thin and light and then they thin it even more By dropping certain instruments and then picking up with the snare so that's more articulated And then that's when you go into the chorus and then after the chorus they drop out and then it opens up a perfect moment for sugar mm -hmm. to Rap. Yeah, it was very nice. You go very light to heavy and then back to light. So the use of timbre was very interesting. So obviously I've already reacted to this, so I didn't want to like fake a first reaction. But I'm um, re-listening to this song. It reaffirms something that I caught in my first reaction, which is the section where the instrument and the voices are doing the call and response. Make it better. Do, 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 do. That, that response. That section, through the three times it appears in the song, evolves from part of the verse fully becoming the chorus. There are two sections that utilize the bop, 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 synth. One of them has the people singing, I can make it better, so imitating the same melody. The other one has the whole group singing, all right. And the first time we get to what we think is the chorus, it's the one where everyone says, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. But then the second time, when we're expecting the da, 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 which was in the verse the first time, RM comes in with a rap, yeah. which kind of breaks the structure a bit. Mm -hmm. And then we hear da, 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 and we're like, okay, but is this the new chorus? Did we switch places? But then we heard, all right, all right, the, the, the second version again. So we're like, okay, so we're somewhere in between now. And then by the third time, it's very clear that the make it better, the call and response version mm -hmm. has fully become the chorus and the all right, all right, just became an outro, an acapella without the synth even appearing. Mm. So I think the structure of the song sort of evolves. is very different. I've never heard that. And it makes such a simple song much more complex. We can move on to Jumangu. Unless I oh. butchered that. Did I Oh, that you comment? just okay. did, okay. yeah. Okay, now you're reacting to... Jamais vu. Which is performed by a subunit of BTS with the members Jin, Jungkook, and J-Hope. The meaning of jamais vu, translated from French, is never seen. It explains the phenomenon of experiencing an event that has already occurred, but not being familiar with it, so it feels that it is happening for the very first time. 
jamais vu. Is often referred to as the opposite of déjà vu. So since this album's central theme is going back to past mistakes and redoing what that is right from wrong, the feeling of jamais vu would literally be experienced if attempting to carry out this task. The song is written and composed by Marcus McCohen, Owen Roberts, Maddie Thompson, Max Lindoch Graham, Camila Ann Stewart, RM J Hope, and Hitman Bang. Whole team of them. Huh? Ooh. This baseline progression, though. I knew they were gonna repeat the word over, over. like over and over again in the same way. I love that word over. It's that is text over. painting. Hmm. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. It's that there it is. There that it is. That was a chord, bro. Yeah. It's just flat six though, but it's like so. It's so good. It's like suddenly minor. Yeah. You feel it in your heart. The Korean language just it's sounds so, so good. It's so hot. <laughs> You're bad. You say what I think. <laughs> that contrast is uh, very surprising. <laughs> Yeah, I'm liking the orchestral, like, soundscape there. Ooh, ooh yeah. that moto mixture! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> moto mixture, like, gives me power. <laughs> Whatever they mm. Is it a trap beat? But it's pitched. So is it a trap beat? <laughs> His voice like, is thick, J-Hope's voice is thick, and then the beat and everything got thick, like the bass kicked in with the bass of his voice. I like where they're placing the rap in this song, because it's not... It's definitely a part of each verse, and it's like the second half of the verse. And yeah. Like, I feel like it gives it a little bit more, like, contrast. He has a nice voice. You could hear like the pleading in his voice. Nice harmony. There we go. I appreciate. You know, we all gotta get a, a, some nice vocal harmony in once in a while. It's just, it soothes the soul. Oh. They all like have different characters within mm. the piece. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. I really, okay, this is what I noticed earlier. The, there's like background, like patterns being played that are extremely subtle that hint at minor four. And there's a big one at the beginning. And I was like, yo, it's super interesting. It's very interesting painting that they're doing with that. Like, even when it's not the overlying harmony, they tuck it in right at the end. It's important. I'm so emotional. Man, I feel like it's just because we have juries in a week and we re I really relate to this. Yeah, I'm like, I think I'm just so like tense and this song is like speaking to my like, my soul, which I've forgotten that, that exists. I need to go hold my dog. <laughs> oh, I like this layering of the different vocal lines here. Cause you got like the little bit of like distorted spoken word in the center there. It's like, a, I feel like it's a good way to layer all the different parts without it being overwhelming. Yeah. Hmm. I love that song. That's gonna go on my playlist, honestly. Maybe I thought more about the end, how it's like, it sounded more like a clock and how time goes by. Mm -hmm. Regardless what you do these songs. I feel like there's it's more on the psychological like evaluation versus like the musical Like yeah, you can say like transitioning from Jin, J-Hope and Jungkook They all have their distinctive timbres and then there's like some almost hip-hop kind of version where it's like you say something and someone in the back is like, Yeah! Mm -hmm. So there's an energetic level there. But then overall, it's like, it all washes down to the, just the strumming. Maybe all these different characters or different musical decisions are just a microcosm or a representation of life. Anything happens, but the time clicks. 
Time goes. The simple harmonic framework that they're working with and the sort of like topical textures that they're using are tools that they paint with in a way that is unique to them and that I just wasn't getting with the Ed Sheeran influenced song. I'm very into repeated rhythmic patterns that sort of like crescendo over time. So like the pattern itself doesn't change, but the layering of different parts. Yeah, okay, I'm explaining minimalism right now. The layering of different parts and like the dynamics and the, the harmonies are what makes the interest. And so this had like an eighth note passage that oscillated between each ear and it changed the harmonies throughout the song. Um, and having that as sort of like your basis, your starting point, it really puts you in this sort of like calmer atmospheric mood and then the sort of blend of these voices and having a very laid back rap style more like spoken word i think really added to this atmosphere that i enjoyed a lot depends on the mood i guess yeah i don't know like i feel this... like if i want like a summer uplifting like in the car with my boo then i want make it ray but if i'm feeling real down on life then i want jimmy v Mm-hmm. Okay, so, like yeah, so better. just like, yeah, I, I like this one a lot better, but just going back to the comment of like textural like variety, this one gave me everything I thought I wanted or needed because yeah. <clears throat> not only was there harmonically, you know, chordally interesting stuff going on um, that reflects the text and makes you feel certain things when certain text is being said, which is really important to get the message across. There was that, there was just kind of a lot of like playing with colors, playing with like imagery, if you will. Um, and I thought it was just really well done. Um, there was a lot of variety. And I kept saying flat six during certain parts. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's I'm just referring to in a given key, the, the sixth scale degree being um, moved one half step lower. And in a major key, like the one we were in, it's very, very effective to kind of like tug at your heartstrings. So just have, being able to have that one, three, five, six, five. Like that six scale degree. And they use that like so many times in the song in a really, really great way. So I just, I really enjoyed it for that reason. Hello everyone, I'm Umu, React to K channel creator, and I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed or learned something from it. If you'd like to support us or help React to K grow, you can do so by visiting our Patreon and help us out by pledging any amount you can. Till next time.